water. From food to drinks to oils and bombs, CBD is showing up everywhere nowadays, it seems. You can even buy CBD products for your pets. A store in the Heights carries a line of pet products from Oil Well CBD. The creator says it eases the anxiety and keeps animals calm during potentially stressful events. And upcoming fireworks on the 4th of July or thunderstorms, those are some of those events. The products are safe for all mammals, including cats and dogs. This isn't just going to make your dog a zombie. It's just going to make them not so aware of the chaos and just it's, it's calming. CBD and THC are both natural compounds found in cannabis plants. The creator says the THC level in the pet products is so low it's considered undetectable and won't get animals high. Fourth of July fireworks go on sale tomorrow. By the way, there are some rules you need to know before you stock up. Fireworks with a fuse are not allowed in the city limits of Houston or most other municipalities. Fireworks usually are allowed in unincorporated areas of counties, but some communities may have their own bans. Check the rules where you live. If you're looking for a free fireworks show, we have a list of them at abc13.com. And don't forget, you can watch the biggest fireworks show in town right here on ABC 13 on the 4th of July. This Thursday, Jake Owen and Kelly Pickler will perform, and you can watch it live beginning at 7. The fireworks are around 9.30. Now, AccuWeather with 13 Eyewitness News meteorologist Rachel Breyers. And we are certainly hoping that the rain we're expecting this week, which you've been telling us about for a few days now, won't be around when the fireworks hit at 9.30. And it actually looks good for us at that time. Now, during the day and the afternoon, we might see a few scattered showers and storms, but it does look like the moisture drastically drops off in the evening hours, so that could be perfect for us. So cross your fingers when we're watching that one very closely. But something else I want to show you today, we started off with a lot of cloud cover this morning, but look at what happened this afternoon. We finally saw that cloud cover break up and we actually saw some of that good sunshine. So hopefully you were able to take advantage of the weather today and temperatures also weren't too bad. We were all only up in the mid to upper 80s, which for us this time of year, hey, that's nothing to complain about. Now, right now on Mega Doppler earlier, we did see a few scattered showers and storms. Right now, though, we're really not seeing a whole lot. We have a few little bitty showers out there and we could see a few more pop as we head into the overnight hours, but they should be on the very weak side, mainly just a few pop-up showers, if anything at all. We will continue to keep about a 20% chance of rain in as we head into early tomorrow morning, and then it should go up a bit as we head into tomorrow afternoon. So here's a closer look at your future track. You can see overnight is popping up a few of those isolated showers, and that's even going to be possible as we head into the morning. But I would say the better chance of rain will be in the afternoon once we start to heat on up. But notice this isn't going to be widespread, so it's only going to be scattered showers and storms there. Now, if we do see any thunderstorms, I would say most of them going to stay below that strong level. Most could bring some gusty winds, some heavy rainfall, and some lightning. So there's some general thunderstorms there. So that's what we're expecting on Monday. So I would say one of those days you might want to put your umbrella in your car. You may have to use it. You may not, but you do want to take it with you heading into Tuesday as that moisture really starts to stream on in. That's going to bring us more widespread rain chances both on Tuesday as well as going into the day on Wednesday. So these are the days we're really going to be watching as we head into this week and it has to do with this tropical wave that we took a closer look at earlier. So that's going to continue to track up to the north and eventually make its way towards southeast Texas in just the next couple of days. Now we're not anticipating this to develop into anything but we are monitoring it very, very closely and we'll continue to update you on this as it gets closer to us. But right now, it's really the moisture that's going to be streaming in and that's going to help bump up our rain chances. But let's take a moment. Let's talk about these temperatures tonight dropping down into the upper 60s, low 70s tomorrow. Looks like we're going to rise back up into the upper 80s and the low 90s. And here's a look at the rest of your forecast. There's your 30 percent chance of rain Monday, 70 percent chance of rain Tuesday. 80% on Wednesday. Now let's move to July 4th. 30% chance of rain. So a few showers and storms possible. I would say mainly into the afternoon, but we are expecting it to kind of go down as we head into the evening because that moisture that we're getting on Tuesday and Wednesday looks like eventually it will push out as we head into July 4th evening and then Friday, Saturday and Sunday looking pretty nice. So if you have weekend plans, you should be pretty much good to go. Could see an isolated storm pop up 
any of those days due to how warm it will be. That's going to help bring up, you know, pop up a few showers and storms, but really not expecting much, not expecting anything widespread as we head into the end of the week as well as into the weekend. So all in all, looking at some great weather coming up. Rachel, thank you. Newly named All-Star Justin Verlander and his wife Kate Upton have been in Houston a while now, and they're sharing some of their favorite Houston spots. The self-proclaimed foodie couple enjoys Nancy's Hustle and Tiny Boxwoods. Verlander says he once got the Lucky Burger there on a day he was starting, and he pitched well that game, so now he goes there every start day. The couple also loves the Montrose area, especially Biscuit. They're also big fans of the Manil Collection, and of course they love their home away from home. Minute Maid Park. Upton says she's also superstitious, and if the team is getting hits while she's eating popcorn, she will keep stuffing her face. I like that. I didn't know I, any of those places. I, I eat popcorn regardless of whether they're hitting or not, though. I'll eat some popcorn, but, you know, <laughs> we're, we're dads. We don't get out much. I don't know any of those places, so just really? None of those, Even the Manila Collection? I, I go to, like, two places. <laughs> you, know, across you, know, the street. you know where all the youth soccer fields <laughs> yes, are. Yes, that's exactly, exactly. Right. All right. All right. We're going to talk a little ass what's coming up. And in sports, one got away. Yeah, Jimmy Butler looks like he likes Miami a whole lot. He's really headed that way. What's next for the Rockets? We'll discuss it. This week, GMA is counting down to the best 4th of July ever. It all kicks off with a Bachelorette exclusive you can't miss. Then throw in the best sizzling summer food, plus a little something-something for the lovers. Oh, yeah. This week, the fireworks are I was driving home from church, and a drunk driver smashed into my car, and I was really scared because I had never been in an accident like that before. I'm really glad that I called Jim Adler because I was able to get a new car, have my medical expenses covered. I would definitely recommend calling Jim Adler just because because it was so convenient, it was so easy. They take care of everything. I'm Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer, and you can count on me to fight for you. Call today, 713-777-4000. We are the Slow Skis. We like drip coffee, layovers. And, and waiting on hold. What we don't like is relying on fancy technology for help. Snail mail. We were invited to a Y2K party. Uh, didn't that happen like 20 years ago? Oh, look, Carolyn, we got a mathematician on our hands. Check it out. Now you can schedule a callback or reschedule an appointment even on nights and weekends. Today's Xfinity service. Simple, easy, awesome. I'd rather not. So I'm looking for someone to make my chicken bigger, tastier, the best. So what do you got? Are you kidding me? I was literally born for this. Make it super crispy. So? You had me at fried chicken pacifier. Try my new spicy chicken strips combo with 100% all white meat chicken for just $4.99. School is out, and Children's Learning Adventure Summer Camp is the place to be. I go from bowling to creating a masterpiece in the art studio. My friends and I put on dance shows, take cooking classes, or play tennis, volleyball, soccer, or shoot hoops. There's even an awesome Xbox Connect and lots of other cool stuff like tablets and foosball. Your summer will be loaded with on-campus fun, field trips, and daily activities. Schedule a tour today at a Children's Learning Adventure campus near you. This is home. Now, 13 Eyewitness News Sports with David Nuno. Okay, NBA free agency is not being too kind to the Rockets. Their number one target is now headed to Miami. ESPN is reporting that Miami is finalizing a sign-and-trade with Philadelphia for Jimmy Butler. So now what? Now, a couple of role players are coming back. Yee -hee! Daniel House is coming back, signs a three-year deal with the Rockets. He struggled a little bit during the playoffs, but can certainly knock down the three. And Gerald Green is also coming back. He signs a one-year deal. Green's always maintained he wanted to play in Houston. And we heard rumors for a while. I just didn't buy any of it. ESPN's reporting that Kevin Durant is going to the Brooklyn Nets. He is expected to be joined by Kyrie Irving and DeAndre Jordan. 
Durant, though, is probably going to miss all of next season because of his Achilles injury. And for the second straight year, the Astros are sending six players to the All-Star game. And this year, that game is in Cleveland. Three pitchers are joining Alex Bregman, George Springer, and Michael Brantley. We knew this guy would make it. Justin Verlander going for the eighth time. He joins the list of just 20 pitchers with that honor. He's the top He's in the top five in wins, strikeouts, and ERA 10 and 3 on the year with a 2.86 ERA. He's always great and on pace for 20 wins. Garrett Cole is making his second consecutive All Star start for the Astros. He leads the AO in strikeouts with an 8 and 5 record on the year and a 3.28 ERA. And this is his third All Star appearance. And the feel good story reliever Ryan Presley making his first All Star game appearance with a 1.47 ERA. And he's been the Astros' most dependable guy in that pin. This group of All Stars is loving it. And we could have a lot more. I mean, I think there's so many guys in this room that probably narrowly missed. Um, and, you know, who knows? Maybe with uh, replacement players or something, they have still have the opportunity to go. But and we, we have such a deep ball club. Um, you know, I'm so happy for the five guys. I mean, Press, I'm really I'm, I'm ecstatic for him. Get to be around, uh, you know, Brantley, Spring, JV Cole, all those guys, and, you know, get to see uh, Mr. Smooth out there, get, get out there in front of his old home crowd. And it's, it's, it's probably going to give me goosebumps watching it. All right, Go Cup action tonight for the U.S. men's national team in the quarterfinals. The surprise of the tournament, Curaçao. This was a grind for the U.S. They do come up on top 25th minute. Christian Pulisic to Weston McKinney. He's got some moves. That header goes in, and the U.S. wins this game 1-0, and they're moving on in the Gold Cup. So it's Jamaica next for the U.S., but everyone is already eyeing a potential showdown with Mexico in the final. Digital reporter Juan Beltran shares his insight on the Mexican national team. David, now that the Gold Cup Final Four is set, the U.S. men's national team could play Mexico in the final. We got a first-hand look as El Tri and their passionate fan base took over NRG Stadium. Mexico, 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 Houston is a soccer Mexico. town and probably the second home to the Mexican national team. With 18 trips to Houston, they've only lost once, last night winning in dramatic fashion. It's a country that's equally as passionate about the game of soccer, football as any country in the world, no question about it. And we're lucky that where we are here in Houston, we get to, to feel that consistently because they do come through Houston. And when they come through Houston, um, you know, it's, it's a magical moment for the sport. There is a passion that El Tri brings to the table that is unmatched. That is why you always see a ruckus crowd. For us, it means a lot. You know, first of all, to, to be wearing the jersey for the Mexican national team is a lot. It's a responsibility to represent your country. There's 120 million uh, viewers or, or, you know, that they're going to be watching you. So, and, and, and the fans, the Mexican fans, they don't allow you to be defeated. Their passion with Mexico will be followed up soon with Bayern Munich facing Real Madrid in July. Houston is an amazing soccer city, amazing destination. They understand we're one of the largest cities in America. It's full of people from all over the world that love the game. Juan Beltran, 13, Eyewitness Sports. And we can't forget the U.S. women are taking on England on Tuesday, Tom. Back to you. In the semifinals, right, David? Well, thanks. Coming up at 1030, we are following the latest in a double date that ended up in a murder-suicide. New details coming in on the fight that took two lives. Stunning video from West Houston shows the moment suspects leading police on a chase crashed their Lexus into a pole and the vehicle went up in flames. Officers then braved the fire to help the very people who they were chasing. And Dr. Thomas F. Freeman, many things to many people, a professor, minister, iconic debate coach. Now tonight he's celebrating another accomplishment turning 100 years old. He shares his favorite stories with our Melanie Lawson. We'll be right back. We are the slow skis. We like drip coffee, layovers. And, and waiting on hold. What we don't like is relying on fancy technology for help. Snail mail. We were invited to a Y2K party. Uh, didn't that happen like 20 years ago? Oh, look, Carolyn, we got a mathematician on our hands. Check it out. Now you can schedule a callback or reschedule an appointment even on nights and weekends. Today's Xfinity service. Simple, easy, awesome. I'd rather not. I was driving, someone smashed into me, and then they just drove off. I knew I needed a lawyer, somebody to help me out. After calling Jim Aller, he got my medical bills paid for. My car was fixed immediately. The time that I took off of work was reimbursed to me. I wasn't expecting to get as much as I did. My life is better because I called Jim Aller. I'm Jim Aller, the Texas Hammer. 
I know how to get you all the money the law says is yours. Call today, 713-777-4000. Update your floors with Empire Today's $50 room sale. Buy one room, get floors for all other rooms for just $50 each. So when you buy one room, it's only $50 for laminate in the kitchen, $50 for carpet in the bedroom, and $50 for hardwood in the office. There's no limit. Buy one room, and it's $50 for floors in each additional room. Schedule now. 800-588-2300-EMPIRE Today. School is out, and Children's Learning Adventure Summer Camp is the place to be. I go from bowling to creating a masterpiece in the art studio. My friends and I put on dance shows, take cooking classes, or play tennis, volleyball, soccer, or shoot hoops. There's even an awesome Xbox Connect and lots of other cool stuff like tablets and foosball. Your summer will be loaded with on-campus fun, field trips, and daily activities. Schedule a tour today at a Children's Learning Adventure campus near you. Texas Ford dealer. ABC 13 Eyewitness News Tonight continues. Now at 10.30, a double date ended in a murder-suicide. Tomorrow, we expect to learn more about the two men who died in Huffman after detectives say they got into a fight during a night out riding four-wheelers. ABC 13 reporter Micah Hatfield has the latest. Riding their ATVs through the mud, family says is not unusual for these couples, except this time it ended with a crime scene. And when they got back over here to the house, uh, that's when the shooting occurred. Detectives say the victim tried to intervene in a fight between the suspected shooter and his wife in the Idle Lock neighborhood. He and his girlfriend started to drive away, but had to stop before the end of their friend's street. Their four-wheeler had rolled off the trailer. That's when deputies say the suspected shooter came out of his house and shot the victim. An argument comes to this. I just can't see it. Neighbors ran outside and started giving the victim CPR. Family says he died a day before his 28th birthday. The man deputies say ended his friend's life, ended up taking his own. When the deputies tried, attempted to make contact with that subject, they heard a gunshot inside the house. And when they made entry into the house, they discovered the, uh, addition, the, sus the suspect deceased inside the house from a, an apparent gunshot wound. The victim was killed right outside Ellis Tipton's home. He didn't hear the shots, but woke up to red police tape tied to his tree. And when we came back out, we saw the body laying there. I thought, oh my God, my wife started crying. He says the couple were new to the neighborhood, and he had not had the chance to meet them yet. It's just the saddest thing. It really is. In Huffman, Mike Hatfield, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Our other top stories this half hour, incredible video from a story we first brought you as breaking news this morning. There is new video showing the moment a suspect's car went up in flames after they crashed it into a light pole during a chase. Police say this was Alexis speeding near Bel Air in Hillcroft around 2 o'clock this morning. The driver refused to stop. The chase lasted about